All right, guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark on the Gaming Evolved Vanilla Wood Sprinkle server. Right now, we're on our way to the Redwood because I want to go and tame a giant bee. Well, I want to tame a couple, actually, because I think I have an idea for, like, a little farm that we could do. So, we're heading on over to the Redwood because that's the, pretty much, like, the best place to find them. I have seen tons of them there, but I've also seen them in other places, too, around the map. Um, I think, as well, even in the Daedon taming video that we did, I think I actually even found- oh my god, get off me. <laughs> I think I actually even found one and killed one on cam, and it was kind of close to the to the winter biome because they kind of spawn like on the side of cliffs, and actually I'm kind of curious right now, is there any along here? Because like this would look like the type of area that you could find them, because you can find them just tucked away into the side of like little cliffs and stuff, and uh, yeah, like you could pretty much just run right up to them and like either break it and try to tame it, or you can kill the queen and steal the honey. Um, I kept stealing the honey because I was waiting to do this video um, and tame them on up on camp for you guys So I don't see any along here, but like definitely these cliff areas look like the type of places where you could find them uh, But the best place to find them is the redwood But of course the redwood is pretty dangerous for a lot of people because of everything bad in there like Palavias What else do you have like micro raptors trudons like there's just everything in the redwood that wants to kill you <laughs> And actually, there is a there is a hive right there. Holy crap, we just found them one immediately. So they have 5,000 health, and the way to actually do this is, um, I believe you just kind of destroy the nest, and then what you have to do is you have to just, like, I guess just knock out the queen and feed it, and also the queen takes uh, Ichthyornis kibble, which we have a bunch of, because we never tamed Ichthyornis, but Anthomnia, <laughs> he, he tamed up a bunch of them and left them at my base. Uh, so, I, yeah, I just had a lot of eggs now. <laughs> it's pretty handy. Do I not have- oh, I thought I grabbed the ghillie hat. Oh no. I thought I grabbed a ghillie hat, but apparently it wasn't a ghillie hat, it was just... Oh, uh, I had a ghillie hat attached to that. Crap. Can I make one? No, this is- no, I don't have any organic polymer. Well, that sucks. Hopefully I can still do this without the- without the hat. <laughs> Alright, well, let's try this then. Uh, but guys, if at any point in this video you find yourself liking this video, be sure to beat the crap out of that like button, it really does help me out. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, that was a 168. Nice. Uh, okay, so I guess we just try to shoot it then. Oh my god. Get off my face. Get off me. Alright, are they coming out? Let me check the health on this thing. Okay, oh yeah, it's it's like, it's got a bunch more. I think I'll shoot it a couple times with my tech rifle. Alright, now let me see. Alright, let me... Give me my... There we go. Okay, uh, I could probably shoot it once more. This button, there we go. Just a little bit of struggling going on here. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Sweet. So what what health are you on there? Okay, you got, a, you got a good bit left, I guess. Let's just go up to it and start shooting at it. It's kind of hard to see here, too. Gamma 2.7. Let's, let's go 2.7. Be spicy here. Oh, no. <laughs> I knew I could hear something. Oh my god. I guess we could also just run up with our Thyla, but I don't want to kill the queen. I want to actually try to tame this queen. How much health is on this thing? Oh, we got it. Alright, there's all the queen, or there's all the mini bees. Oh, look, we killed the queen somehow. What? Did we even kill the queen, or was it dead? Alright, well, there's no queen in there. <laughs> I I guess that could happen? I don't know. I uh, I actually don't know. Alright, well, I mean, it should only take us a bit, another minute to actually find another one of these things, because they are everywhere. Let's just keep our eyes out here. That was so weird. Oh, look, there's one over there. That was so weird, though. Like, I thought that we could tame it, but apparently we killed it somehow. Get out of the hive. Come on. Get. Are they... How hurt is this thing? Okay, um, let's shoot it, like, twice with our tech rifle. Okay, I think we're good. Let's try it now with the assault rifle. By the way, if you're wondering why I keep taking out the map, that's actually a trick that you can do with the, um, with the tech rifle. If it's overheated, you can actually just pull out your map, and it actually takes away the cooldown. And it also allows you to change weapons, too. That queen's dead, too! Am I, like, killing the queen as soon as I'm, like... That's confusing. Am I, like, killing them when I'm using the tech rifle or something? It's like, they just all seem to be dead. 
What's happening? Are bees dying out? Okay, well, there's another one. I mean, okay, here. Let's try a different approach this time. Okay, well, let's actually maybe get right up to it. Okay, let's, like, go up and st start biting. Oh, my God, I can't even... Can you bite on this thing? I thought that you could bite when you're when you're kind of like latched. Apparently you can't. Are they gonna like come out? Can I like climb up and ambush the hive? <laughs> oh, I can't. I can't point down that far. All right. Well, we're just eating something here. I don't even know what. Right. So let's. I don't know. Like, let me just try this one more time here. I mean, we're close enough. now. Oh, here they come. Ooh, they're hitting me. Oh, they just hit me off my guy. Oh, no. Neutral. Go. Kill them. Oh, they're stinging. They hurt. I should have a full costume on. That would be a lot better if I had the full uh, ghillie on. <laughs> Man, I took some damage there. Holy crap. All right. Is more code to come out or something? Well, at least we know that now there's a bee in there. Kill them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll shoot the hive. You do that. Oh, no, they're killing me. Where, what are you doing? Mystique, no! I trusted you. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Help! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what is she doing? Is she, like, going at... Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, no, there's a server save or something. Oh, my God. Uh. No, no, I can't get away. <laughs> Mystique, kill them! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, we're almost dead! Is that the hive? Holy crap, dude, that was insane! I should have a full thing of Gillian on, seriously. Oh man, Neo's base is nearby here. I guess I could drop by and just, like, get some Gilly, because he has a couple penguins going. Yeah, we, we could try that. Alright, well, we'll be back in a minute. Um, we're gonna take on this hive and actually... Hopefully get the <laughs> hopefully get the queen instead of getting stung and almost killed again. So we'll be back in a couple minutes here. Okay guys, so we're back and uh I ran up and uh may have poked that hive a little bit. <laughs> a bunch of bees came out. Are they gonna come out? Like or are they gonna come after me even? Are they coming? What's it what's happening? I mean I can just go ahead and kill them. Oh look, they just died automatically. Oh, here they come. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get him. Get him, Mystique. Get him. She's actually on passive because I don't want her to, like, somehow manage to kill the queen. Mystique, do it. Okay. Passive. Oh, crap. There's more. I can't. I can't even mount. Stop. No. Take the honey and go. Okay, most of them are dead. Oh, crap, get away. <laughs> Dude, these bees are insane. Oh my god, there's more. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, Mystique, are you going to be okay? You are actually very hurt because I kept shooting you there for some reason. I'll try and force feed you a little bit. You're very hurt. Holy crap. Holy crap. Okay. Right, so... I don't know. Let's just try and shoot it a little bit. Okay, let me actually just, like, get up the cliff or something. If I can get far enough away, they might not be able to come to me. Are they coming? <laughs> I honestly don't know what the best way of doing this is, by the way. I really don't. Ooh, crap. Mystique. Oh, no. Neutral, I meant. Go. Kill them. And there's a scorpion, too. Alright, screw it. I'm just gonna start shooting the hive. Not with a tech rifle, though, because I think that just... I think if you use explosive, it just kills it, because every single time I've tried that, it's just... The queen has just died. Get away, stupid bees. Ugh, get off, please. <laughs> Uh, I got some medical brews on me here. I should probably start eating some of them. Uh, there we go. Okay. Let's try this again. What health is on, is on this hive thingy? 
Okay, it's like 3,000. I think we could do it, guys. Let's just spam this thing. Ugh, they keep getting me. <laughs> Get off! Mystique, what are you doing? Help! <laughs> oh, crap. There's more on me. Alright, are they dead? Mystique, where are you? I think it's over here. What the hell is she doing? Oh, crap, where did she go? No! Mystique, where are you? I can't see you. This is making me nervous. There's a monkey over there. It looks really cool. Come on. Let me let me up. Stupid cliff. Make me look bad. Okay, um, there. Finally. What the hell are you doing over here? Running away? Look at you. You're so hurt. Holy crap. Okay. We're almost there, guys. We are almost there. We should be able to break this thing open here really quick. This is actually proving to be a lot harder than I thought. I actually thought it would be really easy considering what, like, you know, the stats and everything. But can I get up this cliff, please? Thank you. That's great. I thought it would be a lot easier, but uh, apparently it's really hard. <laughs> or maybe I'm just not very good at this. Probably that. I don't know. All right. Let's get this thing broken. I don't think the bees are coming out now. I think I'm far enough away that I'm damaging it, but they're not coming after me. Which is pretty handy. That's like the ideal situation. Alright, let me check the health on it. Okay, a couple more shots and then we'll go down to it. Okay, maybe a couple more after this. Where's the bee? There it is! Ooh, Ooh crap! Fly, fly. No, no, go. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. Gonna kill these stupid drones. Ooh. Don't let them hit me. Okay. Now, there's the queen. Oh, crap. Get out of here. What level are you? Ooh, it's a 156, and it looks really cool, too. Um. All right. Well, let's try to shoot it, then, I guess. It is a knockout tame, I believe. Hopefully it is, because if it isn't, I'm just going to end up killing it now. You, what are you doing there? Oh my god, look, it's really hurt. Oh, I kind of don't want to shoot it again. I kind of feel like I'd just end up killing it. Okay. Is it coming? Okay, no, the bee's not coming. Alright, we shot it again. <laughs> Okay. Where are the baby bees? There you go. Hey. Alright, we got them all. That seems like the best method. You just do like cool stupid mouses appearing on the screen now. Just like do cool jumps and you can manage to avoid them somehow. I don't know if this thing's almost out, so I think I'm just gonna wait because I really don't want to hit it again because it's just gonna die. So we'll wait here a minute. I'll see if it gets knocked out. Uh, if not, I'll have to figure out how you actually tame them because... Maybe this isn't how you do it. <laughs> I really don't know. We'll be back. Okay, so I was shooting this thing with a tech rifle for a little bit to try and get the queen. Let me see. It should only take a couple more shots and we should be able to get this thing to come out. Let's try and kill these little drones. Ooh, okay, he got me off. Kill them. Is the queen out yet? Let me get, like, right beside it, and I'll check. Okay. Please don't be dead somehow. Ugh, get off. <laughs> Ugh, they're so hard to hit. <laughs> get out of here. Alright. We're almost out of ammo here, so we better get this freaking queen. Alright, please tell me that the tech rifle doesn't kill the queen somehow. Oh, there it is. Sweet. Okay. Oh, that's a start. That is definitely a good start. Yeah. Okay, we're, we're fine. We just go passive. All right, well, we have our kibble. No, it's not in our last slot. Okay, we got to... There we go. All right, let's try... Let's just run up and try to feed this thing. Uh, we're, we are on passive, so we should be okay. Oh, I got it. Sweet. Okay, what level were you? Oh, you're a high level. What? Oh, I didn't even check. Crap. Um, what would that be? 
probably like 120 something I'd say. That is a very cool looking bee by the way, that looks freaking amazing. So let's go, oh am I crashing? What the hell's happening? Okay, one minute please. <laughs> Okay guys, so we're back and we are at the base right now and I've made a little platform here We're gonna be building like a little bee hive shed thing. I don't really know what to call it. Oh, we got to eat something here Sweet, okay, so let's start this off then I've gathered up all the stuff. Oh crap. <laughs> it's inside of there Let me pick that back up. I gathered up all the stuff that we need to build this and I have kind of like a general idea of how we're gonna build it too so we're going to need walls up all the way around this, and we're going to be removing some of these now in a minute. So let me just place all these guys down. And I was kind of tempted to put in windows, but then I'm kind of thinking, wait a minute, like you wouldn't really have windows on an enclosed area where you have bees, so <laughs> that would kind of be a bad idea. So from here, uh, we're going to be using some of the S plus triangle ceiling pieces. Actually, no, it's some of these ones here. Uh, these ones here. So let's start off by placing them over here and these like triangle pieces are essentially like uh, They're kind of like the sloped roof pieces like triangle roof. So you have like these normal roofs like this one here uh, Which obviously would normally have to snap onto one of the triangle um, Sloped kind of wall things, but you can actually snap them onto these things here as well If I can actually manage to oh wait, no, I need to place these here. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> oh man I don't use these enough to really understand them completely, but from this point here, we have to actually snap on the sloped roofs like that. So we can place two of those there and then two over here as well. And this is all part of S plus here, in case anybody's wondering. Um, let's place all these guys. Oh crap, are you kidding me? Let's pick that back up. All right, sweet. And one there, is that one in the right place? It kind of looks a little bit weird to me, but I think it's gonna be okay. I think that's fine. All right, can we get one in there? Can we? Uh, oh, we had it. There we go. All right, now we're not gonna be able to snap one onto those, but what we can do here is, if I go like this, I can snap one onto that, and then place another one. Sweet, so we got the whole roof done now. Uh, now we can just pick these guys back up. And I was thinking we're probably just gonna have like a mostly open um, You know what actually some slopes wouldn't look bad there, too. Let me go grab some of those Okay, let me just try this out because I think this might look pretty good. Why is that ceiling? Really weird looking Huh, I don't know that one right there looks really weird. I don't know why um, So let me test this out here. This might actually look a lot better if I go like this and then if I remove these, and also I guess these too, and then snap some of these upside down. Oh, that looks really good actually. Look at that. That looks amazing. I like that. Okay, well we got our little bee shed. There is a slight little gap though. Eh, it doesn't bother me too much. I mean, that's okay. I can live with that. This looks pretty good, guys. I like this a lot. Uh, so let's stick our little guys in here. Uh, where are they? There you are. Sweet. Okay. One and two. I don't know which one's which, so I'm just going to start placing them down. So let's... Oh. Oh, can only be placed down to the ground. Interesting. Okay, well, we can pick these up. That's kind of interesting. I didn't actually even know that. Huh. All right. Well, you learn something new every day. Well, I mean, we, we can still place them down in here. It's going to be fine. Just place one like that and then another one over here. Sweet. Okay, so how do these things actually work? Because I've already had a look at them in um, in a single player where we did a video kind of showing off some of this stuff. But I'm not exactly sure of how long they take to produce honey or like how they work. Um, actually, first of all, let me just... You know, I was going to get our bees out, but I'm going to leave it actually. We're just going to leave it like that. Are these bees going to come after me? Oh, I already... I have the gillion. That's why they're not coming after me. So if I take that away and go up to this, I should get covered in honey, right? There we go. And now the bees are stinging me. So I'm losing health. But if you wear a ghillie, it's essentially the beekeeper costume. Now, originally, they were actually going to introduce a brand new set of armor, which was the beekeeper costume. But they never did that, which... Uh, I don't know. Like, I mean, it would have been just specifically for this, so it would have kind of been useless in every other way. But it still would have been really cool to have, like, a beekeeper costume. Uh, especially for, like, sort of, like, role-playing servers where you might actually want something like that. 
So yeah, I don't know, but uh, the ghillie works as the beekeeper costume in this sense, and it's uh, it's pretty cool. I really, I, I love these, I love these hives. They look insane looking. I don't even know. They look, they almost don't even, they look like alien structures or something. It looks like an alien's gonna pop out of there and start eating me or something. I don't know, they just look really strange to me, but they look amazing. Um, man, look, you can see right in there. Sweet, okay. So, I think maybe, I was thinking maybe we'd grab, like, over some small creatures and actually try to fight the bees against them. So, yeah, I guess we're gonna go out and find something then. Maybe, like, a dodo or something. Maybe a pego. I hate pegos. We could fight a pego. And uh, just get the bees to attack it, because I don't really want to bring these bees out there. They don't have good enough health to be able to fight anything, and I'll just end up losing them. And there's really no point of just going out and losing them immediately. And I wonder, actually, are they producing honey yet? I put, I didn't put the flowers back in. That was my main problem. How does this work then? Wait, what does it say up there? Provides, wait, provide rare flowers to keep the beehive healthy. How do you get the honey though? I don't know. I guess we're gonna have to wait a while. I'll wait for this, we'll get some honey, and then we'll look into maybe fighting the bees against something or something like that. So yeah, we'll be back in a minute here. Okay guys, so we're back and Finally, we've gotten honey. I don't know how long it takes to actually get this stuff, but this took quite a while, and I've only gotten one in each of them, so I think we're gonna, yeah, let's go ahead and actually test this stuff out really quick here. I've already kind of seen it in action, but I want to see it again. So let me just drop some of these materials on here. Uh, you enjoy those, Mystique. <laughs> All right, let's hop down here, have a little look. Uh, I can run around. Okay, is there like dillos or something? Oh, oh, we're okay. <laughs> Alright, let me see. So, is there like dillos or something around here? Because you can use the honey as kind of like a little, like, bait trap thing. Because, well, it doesn't trap anything, but like, you could, you could essentially drop one of these down into a bear trap and like, trap a creature, or... I guess, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know if it works on like, enemy dinos actually. Imagine if it did, that would be insane. I don't know if it works on enemy dinos. I would actually like to find that out. So if any of you guys actually have tried this on like a different tribe's dinos, let me know because obviously we're PVE here. We're all in one tribe. So uh, do let me know that because I don't even know. And that's actually really interesting. So I can think I can see a trike over here. No, that's a shally. I don't want to go anywhere near those guys because they're just going to hurt me. So I can see a parasaur over here. Let's test this out with the parasaur. So if you just use it, it should just throw. Okay, so there it goes. Is he coming? Okay, well, it lasts a minute. Is this guy gonna come? Look, he's coming. Alright, sweet. Uh, we could drop down another one if we want. So, technically, we could lead creatures into a bear trap, which is really interesting. Let me try this out again. Uh, let's throw it over there. They got a decent range on them, but you kind of got to be pretty close to the creature, obviously, to get it to work. And this also works on lead sickness. Um, if a lead sickness is attacking your boat, oh, it looks like the Megadura was after it, too. If a lead sickness is attacking your boat, you can throw the honey at them to calm them down. Oh god, <laughs> I just noticed. Alright, where's my rifle? There we go. Get out of here, stupid carno. But uh, yeah, you could use these things against lead sickness to calm them down. You could use them to trap creatures in a bear trap. Uh, you could use them against a gigantopithecus to lead it into a pen where you can safely tame it. Like, there's so many really good uses for this. Um, and like, I don't know, like, I really would like to hear some of you guys' ideas because I, that's just a couple thoughts out of the top of my head. I'm sure there's probably tons of awesome ideas that you guys could think of as well for the honey. Uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty much the honey anyway. Just It just leads creatures to a certain area. You could drop down a bunch of them and lead like a bunch of creatures into a pen and I guess have them like be slaughtered or something. Um, I'm not sure if it works on like gigas or anything like that and I really doubt it works on like the broodmother, but... Um, we will probably try that out at some point. Not right now though, because I don't even, I'm not even prepared to go and fight the Broodmother. Alright, so, let's head back up here. Oh, we got a blue sheep there. Uh, I don't know why he's there. Because we, we gotta go up and we gotta find, like, a creature to have fight our bees or something like that. Uh, so I think I'm gonna grab a flyer, we're gonna go pick something up and bring it over to the beehive. And we're gonna just have our bees attack it or something like that. So, uh, yeah, we'll be back in a minute here. 
Okay, so we got a Lystro into the pen. No more honey right now. I don't exactly know how long it takes to get the honey, but I imagine it's probably like 20 to 30 minutes per honey because they are pretty useful. So I've closed off the pen so we can test this out correctly. Uh, so let's just go ahead and demolish these things. Got one of our bees. Um, obtain beehive. Okay, yeah, that's just how you turn it back into a beehive. So let me go ahead and just put these guys onto a whistle group. So let's go whistle group six. Is there anything in number six? Doesn't look like it. So you're going to be in Whistle Group 6. Can I put the Beehive in Whistle Group 6? No. This doesn't count as a creature at all. So it turns from a structure into a creature, which is kind of interesting. Man, this one looks really cool. I wish you could breed them. I don't think you can. <laughs> I don't... I, no, they don't have a gender, so you definitely could. So are these guys in Whistle Group 6? Yes, they are. So we're going to have them attack this Lystro here. Attack! Are they doing it? Oh, they're laying their little, their little guys... Are they not going to attack because it's a Lystro? <laughs> look, they spawned a bunch of bees, but they haven't done anything. Oh man, look at that. <laughs> they have really nice colors, actually. Oh, dude, that's a huge amount of bees. What the hell? There's like tons of them here, but like... But they're not attacking the Lystro. I guess it has to be something like aggressive or something like that. Hmm, maybe if I hit the Lystro. They gonna attack it now? Maybe I should have got like a moss chops. Oh, it looks like they're attacking it. Yeah, look, they are attacking it, I think. No, they're not. They're not doing anything. There's a lot of bees though, which is good to see. <laughs> they keep dying as well. Pity you can't harvest anything off of them. They just disappear like after a second here, so. All right, well, I think I'm gonna try and get something else in here then. I gotta turn these guys back into beehives. Turn you into beehive, turn you into beehive. Sweet, okay, well we just have a Lystro now, so I think it's time. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go try and find a boss chops or something. Okay, so I got a moss chops in here. Let's place down our beehives. Uh, where's the other one? There you are. And we gotta break these guys out. Uh, demolish. Got a bee. And we got another bee. Amazing. Okay. So, are they still in the same whistle group? Whistle group six. Perfect. All right. Attack my target, please. Are they going to do it? Come on. It's a moth chops. Kill him. Is it working? I don't think it's working. Is it? They're not hurting him. Or are they? They're not taking damage, are they? Oh, crap. They are. Ooh, gonna grab the other one before he kills it. I don't know, like, maybe they're just not great for combat. I'm just gonna kill this thing. It's obviously not very good for combat, because, like, that one was, like, half dead, and that's a moss chops. <laughs> I don't know. They're probably really good for fighting against players, so maybe if you had, like, a big base, you could fill the inside with a couple beehives, and then once people come in... You know, you have just a couple bees around. Or actually, not beehives, you turn them into bees, obviously. And then once people come in, you know, the bees would go after them and, like, they would get knocked off their mounts or whatever. Um, they do seem like they would be really good against players, just not very good against <laughs> against creatures. I mean, that was a moss chops and that one was, like, half dead. Very, very silly. But either way, guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to beat the crap out of that like button. If you guys want to see more like this, you know what to do. You gotta subscribe. That's how it works. We've already done a bunch of update videos. You guys can check those out if you want to. There's links down below, but they're also on the channel if you guys want to. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time.